in the hell did you come up with that, man? So uh, I had done it fooling around at, at like a couple of charity basketball events, but I was at um, Gary Payton's uh, uh, event and in the layup line, jumping over the rim, just dropping over, fooling around and just, just let it go. That's where it came from. So I got to the dunk contest and I remember telling uh, uh, Catino Mobley, I walked over because he was at the event in, in, in Seattle. And I was like, hey, bro, remember I was in the layup line doing that. I said, I'm going to try to go up there and hang up there. Mm. He said, huh? I said, yeah, I'm going to try to hang. But Pat, I had never, ever tried it in my life. I was just like, going to ask you, this is your first time doing it too? First time live. Shit, that shit was amazing. Live. It, so it could have gone. Right. It I'm getting gone, chills right now remembering bro, it. <laughs> bro, it could have gone one or two ways. And luckily, I ended up on, on the right side of it. So the funny yeah. thing about that, before I left to go to All-Star Weekend, we had our last game. We played. The next day, we're leaving. Our coach, Butch Carter, told T-Mac and I, good luck and don't break nothing. <laughs> because he know, like, we were out there. We were willing to try whatever, do whatever. Yeah. As I, I, If you go back and look, as I'm standing under the rim, I'm looking, and I'm trying to walk it up because I didn't know, bro, I didn't know which way to go, which how I was going to do, how, how to do it. So if you go back, you look, I rub my arm. Well, what I said, I was like, man, here goes nothing. Please don't break nothing like Coach Woods got to say. <laughs> That's what I was saying. And I knew I, bro, I knew it was going to hurt, or I assumed it was going to hurt. Like, bro, I'm try, I'm jumping up there trying to hold on to a rim. You know, I, bro, I don't know. I, that, I, that was one and done. I had never rehearsed it. I just wanted to, in my mind, I said, jump as high as you can so you can come down and hold on to the rim as opposed to jumping at the rim where if you don't make it, you break your junk off, right? You know what I'm saying? So, so what I did is I just jumped as high as I could and just held on. And I said, and, and while I was up there, I had my eyes closed in my mind as I'm walking back, I said, what I want to accomplish. So I look at I look at all this stuff differently than everybody else. So I was like, what I want to accomplish with this dunk? Because I used to watch dunks. I'm like, what were they trying to accomplish with it? Like, we all watch it. We all see it. But what were they trying to, to accomplish? What did they want you to see? So yeah. what I wanted people to see is that I could jump high you damn and, then get my arm, and get my <laughs> arm in. And hold on, and I didn't want to hear nothing. I wanted it to be silent. Mm, yeah. And that's what we got. So that's I was up on the got. rim. I literally had my eyes closed like this, and I was like, <laughs> and, I, and, and then I landed, and I walked like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but really, yeah. I was like, bro, this is crazy. So yeah. I'm walking down there, and I kept my arm straight. I'm holding my arm straight, like, I, I ain't break it. It ain't numb. So we good. Yeah. <laughs> we good, right? Okay, watch this. Sunday morning is the All Star game, bro. I woke up, my arm was locked like this. Oh wow! <laughs> up top, and in the bottom was was purple. Purple. And wow. I couldn't, I couldn't move. I couldn't extend my arm <laughs> just because, like, because I, you know, when you sleep, the blood just just lock in. So I had no blood flow yet, and I was stuck. I was like, bro, I ain't gonna be able to play the game. Wow. I mean, I got a, I got a trophy. And then I iced it up, and obviously we had to shoot around, got moving in my jump, but I had like a line. It was worth it, bro. War room. <laughs>